Hey, it's been a while, and my studio is a fucking mess. Uh, I am sure um, a few of you, at least, are probably wondering, where the fuck have I been? Where the fuck have I been? Well, let me tell you something. Um, before I get started, though, uh, I'm keeping this video very short. I didn't bring the other computer in here to run the overlays and all of that, because I want to make something that I could just edit, quick, cut, upload. This is an update video uh, to let you know, you know, those unboxing videos that I just released are, um, you know, like three months old now. Um, yeah, so let me start at the start um, because we started filming, or I, the last video I posted, well, let me um, snip, snip, cutty cut right here so I can tell you <laughs> when the last time I posted a video or commented on a video, I am sorry about that. I see your comments. I'm going to respond to them um, before I upload any of this stuff. So, okay. So the last video I posted was back in February. Um, it was a little bit newer than I thought, but um, there was, you know, only a couple videos, not very good videos either um, from back there. But what kind of happened was, um, uh, let me uh, <laughs> kick back and get a little bit more comfortable for this. Uh, so I had been uh, commissioned to do a uh, custom music video f through uh, Fragooner Tools. And, um, you know, they wanted an advanced composite. They were very specific. If you want to see it, it is available on... Uh, X videos, and if you know the um, the link to that Dropbox folder, you know it's up there too. Um, that one is it's called uh, "Welcome Home, the House of Anal." Uh, I'm sorry, we're not going to get into that. This is not House of Perv, um, but anyway. So I got commissioned to do that video, and Jesus. Um, uh, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed making that video. That video was, uh, I am way too dark here. That video was, um, you know, I mean, it, and it, it came out pretty well too, I thought, but it was three months worth of work. Um, I did not want to, uh, you know, try to focus too much on other stuff while I was doing it because, uh, you know, I wanted it to get my full attention. That was a paid project even though it was um you know it was definitely underpaid for all of the work that i put into it that was three months of worth of work for a hundred dollars but um <clears throat> you know i had to take little breaks and it was during this period that i got the uh that we went through my birthday month that i got the well, me and Cousin Chris both got those boxes from Don't Eat the Gum, and we unboxed those. I recorded it. I got the box from Kevin at Don't Eat the Gum. We unboxed that. Um, but I wanted to keep my focus onto this project, and it ramped on and on and on. And I'm not going to get into too much personal details, but me and a certain somebody hit some rocky patches, and... Um, you know, there was a lot of stress buildup um, in that. And I just had so much going on. Um, so finally, I guess it's been about a month now. I finished up the, uh, I finished up, the, well, that and another music video because I had to like tap into something else for a few, you know, to get my, attention on a different project but similar enough to not you know get sidetracked out of that anyway you know so that I could come back to that music video with a fresh set of eyes um, because if you've been working on the same thing every day over and over and over and over and over you know um, it can get pretty tiring you know you can uh, you get fatigued and so it's good in those situations sometimes to step away for a day or two and come back with a fresh set of eyes. Um, that's an old uh, music production thing, too, of why, you know, 
if you mix down a track, you should always send it to somebody else to master because you get a fresh pair of ears on there. Well, the same thing with this, you know, fresh, fresh eyes, except that I am the other, I am me and the other person. So, you know, and I did, honestly, I spent a lot of days just not doing nothing at all and just, you know, kind of dabs and prawn all day long. I had a lot of those days. Um, and, uh, I had been going back out to the clubhouse and all of that stuff, but that's over now. I'm not, I, I quit the clubhouse, uh, a few weeks back. Um, but at any rate, you know, so I came back around, I'm getting back on track now. I, um, edited and uploaded the, uh, fat ass glass video as of filming this already, um, I just haven't released it yet because I'm going to try to release all of this stuff like one right after the other or maybe one day, two day, three days, something like that. Um, and I am finished editing the Don't Eat the Gum video. That is the last one I've got for the House of Gravy right now um, or that I had filmed. And uh, all I've got left for that one is to do the music uh, the render, the upload, the thumbnail, you know, yada, 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 all of that finalized in work. Um, and then just edit this short one and then, uh, you know, upload it and get you guys up to speed. Um, get that new content out there. And then I've got one more uh, that I need to edit and uh, produce for House of Perv. And then I'm going to focus on... The next thing that I'm getting ready to tell. Yes, this video, this update video actually comes with an announcement, believe it or not. This actually comes with an announce, an, an announcement. Um, that's right. We are starting a third YouTube channel. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm spreading myself even thinner. But, um, you know, I wanted to do some more of those nature videos like we did... Uh, the moms in the moms in the sky with diamonds series last year and um so i had already gone and done that uh, before i even finished uh the work on um well no actually i think it was right after i finished the work on uh for gruner tools and then i uh we went to uh back out to page county and filmed some more stuff out there um, I filmed a couple more on Cub Run. I filmed uh, down in uh, the town of Shenandoah. I filmed out closer to Luray, or as they say there, uh, Luray and Shandor. Uh, um, that is, li I'm not exaggerating. That is, that is liter <laughs> that is literally the accent out there, bro. That is literally, literally the accent. Um, Beer is burr, bush is boosh, creek is crick. You know, that's how they talk out there in Shandor. Not an exaggeration, boss. I appreciate you. Um, <coughs> I'll see you down by the holler. <laughs> I digress. Uh, you know, we have some good times out there. And uh, Cub Run, I'm going to tell you this right now. We will probably go and film in Cub Run again in the future because... I might do an entire series of just spots in Cub Run because Cub Run is such a special, 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 beautiful place. Um, but, yeah, so we filmed several locations down through there. Then um, my dad and my stepmom decided to treat me, and we went out to the eastern shore Uh we went out to uh, cross past Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and all of that, crossed the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and into the Eastern Shore. We filmed uh, right off the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge uh, tunnel where they have this uh, like little overlook, this little pull off spot, and you can go look out over the bay. Uh, so I filmed there. I filmed in uh, Chincoteague. Well, I filmed one night shot in Chincoteague. I filmed. Uh, well, I filmed one in Assateague that we can't use because it was on a beach that was crowded. And there are lots of people that can easily be identified 
uh, on the camera, and I don't have enough time to blur everybody's faces out of that, and I don't want to post people up in these videos without consent, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then there was another shot in Wachaprig that is completely unusable. Anyway, so we shot another, well, we shot two more uh, locations in Assateague, and I'm hoping that both of those are going to work out because there was some like wind problems and stuff like that. But I, I'm hoping that I'm going to get around all of that, um, not to bog you down in the <laughs> details of, uh, you know, production here. Um, but um, yeah, then we backtracked and we went down through around the Exmoor area and uh, we filmed in Wachapreeg, and we filmed uh, out on Silver Beach. Um, so we the footage that I got from Silver Beach is amazing. It's the only one so far that I have uh, actually color graded and uh, added a composite. And the reason for that is, is that uh, before we went to Shinkatig, we actually went to uh, Silver Beach and uh for a birthday party and then we went and stayed in uh, virginia beach for a couple days before crossing the bay bridge tunnel and uh or well crossed back and then back again something like that anyway uh -huh. so uh but there was this really rad storm cloud formation across the bay um and like it was just beautiful but i couldn't film right there because um, you know, we had the kids out on the water and uh, people out behind me talking and carrying on, of course. You know, it was a birthday party. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and took a couple pictures because I knew, you know, that's a storm cloud. Uh, that's a storm formation. I'm probably never going to see ever, ever again. So uh, on the way back... Um, you know, basically what we did was we stayed a couple nights in uh, Shinkatique, and then we turned around, and then we stayed another night in uh, Exmoor. And uh, so we went back to Silver Beach and filmed again. And uh, unfortunately, this time it was, you know, we got the same secluded area of the beach all over again, but... Um, it was overcast and getting ready to rain. It was like, well, it was like in between rainstorms, you know, that period. Um, so what I did was I came back here. I was, you know, I was so super anxious to see how it would look. And what I did was I took the picture from the storm formation and the uh, footage of the overcast day that we actually filmed and I just composited the storm cloud out into the skyline. And then I uh, used the lens correction tool to like stretch it out. And then I keyframed it so that it would gradually just kind of pull back in. And then you would see that storm formation. Uh, it's beautiful. It is fucking beautiful. Here in a minute, I will actually show you. Well, let me just go ahead and show you that footage. I'll show you a couple other pieces of footage, too, while I'm at it. Um, I hope that the sound for this will not be, uh, like, overpowering. We'll see. Okay, so this is the uh, foot, some of the footage from Silver Beach. Um, yeah, as you can see, just fucking beautiful. But then we slowly start to see those storm clouds moving back around and coming in. And we I, I actually shot twice because I wanted to get a uh, different angle. And uh, we did because there is a little uh, land bar or sandbar, whatever you want to call it, uh, over here to the side. Um, when I started filming, it was mostly underwater, but then uh, it started uh surfacing again so uh i switched over and uh yeah just you know use the same see there's the sandbar and just use the uh you know put the, the two clips together essentially um so now here we get toward the end of it you see that 
you know, kind of coming back together. Uh, that's fucking beautiful. And uh, let's see. Let's find another one real quick. And this is a this one what right here was another really relaxing shot in uh Watch a Preg. Um I haven't done pretty much anything except for editing out my um you know uh clap and all of that yada 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 at the beginning and the end and uh splice the two clips together cuz I did the same thing kind of thing on this one actually I take that back. This one was actually three videos because I started filming from right here and then later on moved up closer right there uh, to uh, better isolate the voices coming from the house. And then I turned it over sideways to get the tree. As you can see, the sun was going down. So... Um, I don't know how it's going to work bringing this up on the loop, but I am doing these much shorter than I did the uh, the uh, Moms in the Sky with Diamonds series because, uh, yeah, the, the uh, two from the Page County shoot, um, that one, by the way, is going to be called A Bridge to Shannon or A Bridge to Page County. This one is going to be called, this series is going to be called The Trip to the Eastern Shore. Um, but, you know, yeah, so I've got, uh, I have got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, now, I will show you this is some, uh, you know, kind of unusable footage right here. Um, but I have, as a matter of fact, I just finished turning this into a, uh, <laughs> into like an intro video i just got rid of the audio all together because they had the speaker for the restaurant like right there on the back porch but uh i had stretched out the lens correction tool because the uh, actual footage is like all jittery and shaky like this like the way you see the tree shaking um that was not an effect that i put in it that's just how the footage came out and uh, so it's kind of unusable for the purposes I was intended. So I tried putting this, uh, like, uh, what do you call that, the uh, directional blur uh, around it just to see how it was look, would look. And that looked pretty cool. So what I ended up doing was I uh, then took it back in and I uh, added a different piece of audio to it. And I turned it into a little uh, intro video for the new channel that we're gonna that we're starting. And uh, see, as you can see, I added a little bit of a uh, Caucasian blur. <laughs> I know Caucasian, whatever, uh, Gaussian, something like that, you know. Uh, but yeah, just a little intro video. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not trying to spoil the whole thing, but this is just an intro video, like literally. So uh, this is one of the ones that I have actually completed from the uh, Page County uh, trip. Um, I've still got, I think, three or four more left from the Page County trip uh, to produce. Uh, but, you know, this looks really, really, really good. And uh, you've got little me drifting down the river this one is the uh, shannon uh, if you can't read the shandor and riffin uh, the shandor crick drift the shandor and crick drift something like that and uh, i have finished one more from this trip um that i put in a different folder for some reason uh where is it here we go And this is the bridge to Shenandoah, or the bridge to Page County, uh, at the same time, even. And this one is, like, pretty cool. I like the way that I uh, pulled the effect out. It gets sort of intense, not, like, unrelaxing intense, but, like, toward the middle here, you can see I got this big medicine wheel in the sky and the turtles... Uh, closing in and there's me and me on the end and you really can't see it but I have a uh, poppy 
my granddad <laughs> composited like right in here. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I digress. So I have already set up the. Well, I haven't uploaded anything yet. Or well, I'm in the. Well, I'm in the process of uploading the. Uh, Moms in the Sky with Diamonds series um, to the YouTube, to the new YouTube channel. But other than that, I haven't uploaded anything yet, and I haven't made anything at all public yet. Um, but the channel is there. If you want to go and check it out, please do. Um, the name of the channel is Dreaming Turtles Relaxation and Chill. Um, I was going to call it Dreaming Turtles House of relaxation and chill you know kind of keep with that whole thing but i didn't want to make it too long and uh you know i kind of want that's the reason i made a separate channel for this because i want to kind of let it sit off on its own and do its thing over there without so much of me because i have a face made for radio and the talking skills made for silent film just 100 100 um so, you know, that's a good way for me to step back and just show my art and, uh, you know, what my work, whatever you want to call it. And so I don't know really um, what the future for this channel is going to be going forward. I mean, I'm sure that we're going to come on here periodically and do stuff. It's just, you know, uh, sparse because uh, the way that my mind is, at least now a day since I'm off of the Seroquel and everything, I have to kind of let myself bounce around and do different things, you know? Uh, so I'll do the PMV for a while. I'll do the nature videos for a while. Then maybe I'll come back and do an unboxing or just a talking video or a ramble sesh or a review or, you know, whatever, uh, just whatever I feel like doing, I suppose. Um, since this isn't a job, uh, you know, I mean, I would like to take the, uh, relaxation videos and turn that into like a monetized channel if I can get that far. But quite honestly, you know, I barely got any views on, uh, those video, the moms in the sky with diamond series on this channel. And I don't think that there's really a very big market uh, for what I'm doing, but, you know, it is, uh, recorded, filmed, and produced in 9.1.6 surround sound audio, 4k resolution. Um, you know, the audio from some of these videos is ambiently immaculate if that's a thing, ambiently immaculate. And unfortunately, uh, YouTube will not support 9.1.6 audio and the video. You know, they're going to compress. So I am putting all of this stuff up on the Dropbox. on Well, a new um, Dropbox link specifically just for Dreaming Turtles Relaxation and Chill. Um, that's going to have everything uncompressed, full 9.1.6 audio. So if you want to download that and watch through your home theater system, it's there. You have that option. It's free for now. Um, and the, uh, you know, maybe I will come back and on this channel do some uh, like tutorial videos on how I'm doing that. Or maybe that would be better suited for that channel. I don't really know, but... Uh, if you are interested in how I'm doing it, doing these videos, the short, uh, the short version of the story is that I am recording the audio in Ambisonics now. And uh, so what I do is I set up the Zoom H3VR microphone on top of the camera to record the ambience uh, from whatever location I'm shooting. And then I bring it home through the Zoom Ambisonics player and I convert it three times to 5.1 because the miracle of recording in ambisonics is that you can rotate the mic position after 
you've recorded it and bring it home in post. Uh, so basically what I do is I uh, render it the first time, like facing straight out. And then I render it a second time, turn sideways so that, you know, we get the sides. And then another time flipped up like this so that we get the height channels, the elevation. And then I, you know, route all of that in DaVinci. And, uh, yeah, then I produce it into 9.1.6 surround sound. It's not true Atmos because it is uh, channel-based instead of object-based. Um, but it works. It's linear. Li linear PCM 15.1 um, however you want to look at it um, it works um, and I am <laughs> really really curious to hear from some other people with uh, you know good surround sound systems to know you know hear what they think of it um, but like I say you know I mean this is very much a niche or a niche thing you know, put it on a little niche, eat a little quiche, you know. That's just how we teach. But, you know, at, at any rate, I don't intend on abandoning this channel. So I wanted to make this update video for you guys to let you know I'm still around. I'm still around and I'm still doing stuff. Uh, it's just that, you know, some of the stuff has been for Gooner Tools. Some of the stuff has been for House of Perv. Some of the stuff has been for here. And now we're preparing stuff for the Dreaming Turtles House of Relaxation and Chill, or just Dreaming Turtles Relaxation and Chill. Um, you know, we're doing stuff. That's, that's you know, my mantra or whatever, you know, just do stuff. So anyway, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy the new content. Uh, I hope you'll go check out the new content when it comes, um, and I hope that you'll all enjoy that. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next one, babies. I love yous. I appreciate you. And bye.